And good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREB. Kind of a special Putnam County Today. Uh, we're kind of helping celebrate uh, different things, achievements that people's done. Jamie's here with us. And Jamie, let's talk a little bit about what you have done. Um, because you've done something not many of us are even willing to do. Exactly. So yes. tell us a little bit about what you did and how you got started. Okay. Well, I'm here because I ran the St. Louis Marathon. It's 26.2 miles. That's real, real far. That's right. what I like to say. It's real far. Um, what actually got me started running in the very beginning is actually a lady that I work with, Gala mm -hmm. Derringer. Mm -hmm. she, we were doing a Biggest Loser competition at our work. She read something online that said running was the best way to lose weight. So we were like, all right, we're going to try it. So she started running first. She, you know, she got to where she's like, hey, I ran a mile last night. And I'm like, all right, if she can run a mile, I can run a mile. So it began. So um, she got me running, and it took us, you know, three years of running before we decided to really? do a marathon. Yeah. So um, we did lots of 5Ks. We did a trail run mm -hmm. in uh, January. It was 19 degrees. It was down in southern Indiana. It was hilly, snowy, single file bike trail that we ran. So we've done lots of small runs. So did you use the small runs as kind of a training ground to get ready for the St. Louis Marathon? Yes, we did. Absolutely. Um, we also did the a half marathon in Indianapolis. Okay. Um, we did the Monumental, and that was a really nice local. And it was cool to go downtown and run around all the monuments. So that was a nice. Great crowd participation. That's one of the things that really helps you along really? in those long runs is the crowd. So that's a lot of fun. So... You guys basically got together to lose some weight, yes. and it just kind of blossomed. And grew, yes. Definitely. So tell us about actually going to St. Louis and doing the marathon. Was it kind of intimidating for you a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, it, when you start training for it, it takes months and months and months right. of training. And so we started right after Christmas training for April 12th. Wow. So you build up and you build up, and then like the week before, you're like freaking out. Yeah. yeah, so we get to St. Louis, you know, you pick up your packet the night before, there's all these people, and there's excitement in the air, and, and it's fun, and then the morning of, you're almost sick. It's just like, oh, I'm freaking out. So yeah, we had to get up, we couldn't wait to get out of our hotel room, because we were like, oh, we need some fresh air, we need to breathe. So we had a three-minute walk to the start line, so that helped us out. But yeah, St. Louis was a beautiful city. Right. It was really beautiful, but very hilly. Yeah. And, but you guys kind of got used to that with those hike trails, right? Right. And, you know, Putnam County is actually really a great place to be able to run and train. You really? Know, with DePaul, the nature trails mm -hmm. out there, that is super awesome. Um, they have the People Pathways, mm -hmm. which goes all the way out, way um, east of here. So that was a really great place to train. Um, and we did a lot of our training in the winter. So it was really nice for DePaul to be here because right. they keep the sidewalks all cleared off. So that was nice. And how do you find your motivation, uh, you know, like you said, when it's like 19 degrees to go outside and run? I mean, I pass by, I'm driving in a warm car and pass by people who are running. Yeah, I'm right. like, really? I mean, that's got to have be just dedication. <laughs> right. Well, our trick for us is we sign up for things like the marathon, the half marathon. So then, you know, you have to run. You have to train for that. You can't not train for it or you're going to epically fail. Right. And so we sign up for these things knowing then we have to do it and it makes you get out there and do it. I'm, yeah, there's no other motivation other than I don't want to stink at it. Right. So where did you guys come in as far as the St. Louis Marathon? As far as how did we place? How did you place? Um, well, my friend actually ended up only, ha only getting to do the half based upon a doctor's recommendation. So right. she did well for that. Um, my full marathon, I don't even know my place because it really wasn't that great. I had a goal of four and a half hours. Right. Which I got it in just under five. And so it wasn't that great, which is why I'm, I said I would do it only one time and never again. Right. But when I did it and I didn't do it as well as I wanted, now I'm like thinking about another one. Well, sort hey. of, kind yeah. of, because I'm stubborn like that. Well, if, if I don't do what, what I want, then I have to try again. And it's one of those things where I don't think, you know, okay, so I've done the St. Louis Marathon. I can just quit running altogether. Right. right. It, it's funny you should say that because I haven't done a single bit of running or exercise since April 12th. Really? <laughs> yes. It's like, it's like you have all this momentum and you're going and going and something to look forward to. And now that I'm done with it and I don't have anything that I have to be doing, right. I'm just kind of like, oh, this is nice. So will you start training again this summer? Is this something you want to continue to do? Um, I'm sure I will always be a runner. Just maybe not 
26.2 miles. So we won't see in the Boston Marathon no, or the New York Marathon. No, <laughs> no. And you, you have to qualify for those things, and I don't know that I ever would get there. <laughs> so, well, it's something to plan towards. It is, and it could be, yeah, probably not, though. What would you give uh, as far as advice to people out there? You know, we've talked about the weight loss, and a lot of people, especially in the summertime, it's a great time to get outside. Yes. Um, what was some advice for like a beginning runner, jogger, would you give? Definitely. Um, always, you know, start small. When we started, we were excited when we got one lap around the track, you know. And then we were super excited when we were three quarter of a mile around the track. So, you know, start small and don't quit. Like I said, it took, I mean, we've been running for three or four years. Wow. So, just keep after it and it'll come to you, you know. Now, do you find it's easier because you guys were kind of in a group? Mm -hmm. Is it easier to do that than actually go out there on your own? Definitely. Get a running buddy, get a partner, somebody that you'll talk to about it. Like, I, I happen to work with my running buddy, so that's right. kind of nice. Every day we can say, hey, are we running today? Or, hey, we're running tomorrow, bring your clothes. But, I mean, that keeps you out there. If, right. I know on my solo runs, I do worse. You know? Really? Yeah, I just get tired quicker. You know, you're thinking, oh, I've been out here forever. This is boring. So, it's definitely key to have people and, and again this is a great way to lose weight too it does work for losing weight yes indeed now do you guys alter your diets in any way as far as when you're training and stuff right um we didn't necessarily which is maybe why i didn't do as well as i wanted to do but i i, I mean the diehard really really do really you know and high protein is really good for for running so all right. Well, Jamie, congratulations for at least, you know, running in the St. Louis exactly. Marathon. Exactly. I, I was excited to do it. I tell you what, it's kind of unique that a person from Putnam County, you know, like I said, you put that much time and effort in it and actually followed through with everything. Mm -hmm. I know. So we look forward to seeing you in some of the local races, hopefully. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, speaking of having people around the Greencastle Running and Fitness Club, um, club. Right. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They do a lot of things, a lot of activities. There's a lot of people there that you can hook up with if you're interested in getting running. That'd be a great place to start. All right. So, well, thank you so much, right. Jamie. Thanks we for appreciate it. Me. Congratulations again. Thank you. Don't forget, if you're a nonprofit group or community organization, you'd like some free airtime here on WREB, you too can be a part of Button County today. All you need to do is give us a call at 653 9717.